In today's idea today, we're going to talk a little bit about Pete Rose and why I think he belongs in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Now, let's start with the basics. Pete Rose, I'm good, and I'm going to need my reading glasses for this one. Pete Rose played ball from the 60s into the 80s, so like pretty much almost 20 years. He has records that are just amazing. The most career hits, 4,256. The most games played, 3,462s. The most at-bats, 14,000. 53. The most singles, 3,315. Total bases with a switch hit of 5,752. Most seasons with 200, uh, excuse me, most season 200 or more hits, 10. Most season 600 or more at bats, 17. Most season 150 or more games played, 17. Most winning games, seven, 1,972, five or more of this, it's only player, etc., etc. 500 games in five positions, first base, second base, third base, left field, right field. I mean, I could just go on. National League records, he's got a ton of those. I mean, this is all from his website. And I, did, I only went there because I, I wanted to make sure I was somewhat accurate and, and I brought up a lot of the things. What is it I remember about Pete Rose? Well, first of all, I was a New Yorker, so I watched largely the Mets at that age. And, um, you know, to me, Pete Rose was, you know, like Johnny Bench and a lot of other players in that, in that, the Red Machine. He was a great player, and I saw him only when he played uh, home teams. But the reality of it is the guy was a phenomenal ball player. He was a ballsy ball player, and he had a problem with gambling. We know about the gambling problem, and that mostly surfaced when he was a manager, and it became an issue with the Major League Baseball Authority because it was then reported that he not only was a, uh, a degenerate gambler, but he bet on baseball. But here's the thing. The reason um, they have rules about gambling, and I know it's a zero tolerance thing, is basically because they don't want anything to interfere with the game itself. Like if a boxer bets on himself, and well, let's do the opposite. Let's say a boxer bets on the guy he's fighting. Well, that would be wrong because him having a stake in losing would make him want to lose. But Pete Rose made it a point of specifically saying, and I guess proving, that he, although he did bet on baseball, and although he may have bet on games, he was the manager, he did not bet against his own team. So his only motivation, just as it would have had he not placed a bet, was to win the game. And to me, that does not have any bearing on the outcome of the game. He is always in it to win, and he always played honestly in that regards. And I have family members, grandfather, my father, my cousin, who have had gambling problems. And I know that that is something that is very hard to control. So yes, he had a, a gambling addiction and, and probably still does for that matter. But the bottom line is he was banned not from just being in the game. We're not just talking about somebody be, not being a, allowed to play or not even being allowed to manage or be in the corporate side of, of the game. He was banned from the entire sport. Now, that's wrong. Say what you want about keeping him from playing or from managing, obviously you can't play at this age, but from managing or even being part of an organization. He should be in the Hall of Fame just based on the merits alone. If somebody walks into that Hall of Fame and they see names that they've never heard of with records that are not even half of what Pete Rose has been able to do with his career, that's a crime. Somebody who goes into that Hall of Fame, especially somebody young today who knows nothing about his gambling problems, should be able to go there and see the game's greatest players. And it really uh, is a shame that he did have this gambling problem. It's a shame that he did the things that he did. But don't take that away from him. Uh, at least, uh, you know, sometime soon, while he can still appreciate it, they should reach out to him and say, you've, you've, you've paid your price. It's time Pete Rose goes into the Hall of Fame. And that's today's idea of the day. And I don't need any of you people to subscribe to my channel. I don't need anything at all, except maybe this chair. And that's it, I only need the chair. And maybe this paddleball game, and the remote control, and the ashtray, and nothing else. I don't need anything, and this lamp. But I don't need any subscribers.